We are Ben and Brandy. Over the last few episodes, we've been working to convert our 2002 box truck into an off-grid camper. Today, our friends Tyler and Heather make the trek from Kansas City to help us build custom furniture for our tiny home on wheels. This video is sponsored by Affordable Luxury Remodeling. All info and details in the description below. Okay, so today is a floor laying day and it's really a floor laying half a day because custom furniture company will be here soon and they're going to help us build right here a custom dinette with sliders on it and a custom couch here with a refrigerator slide on it so so i'm getting down to the last little bit of flooring here and I can't believe it, but I'm gonna have exactly enough flooring to do this. Hope you guys like it, cause I do. And uh, also this tongue and groove stuff, I don't really know what you call it. You kind of slide it in, snap it in. It works really good. You just gotta be careful and make sure they're set right where you need them before you bang them into place. Cause you'll break the tongues off of them if you don't. So hang in here. Hold that there, buddy. Please. Hell yeah, man. Just kind of hold it there for a second. Damn right, I will. 30 inches from the ceiling. 30 inches from the ceiling. <laughs> right, we'll leave uh, this on the end. Mm -hmm. Put a door here. Maybe a door here, and we can slide shit in and out of there. Yeah. Hey, I know what you can do. Just cut it here, cut it here. And let the, that bolt right there slide right in between them. Fucking genius. Mark that. Mark that some bitch real good. We'll get some silicone on it too, or no? Oh my, stop with the silicone. Oh, I got some doors. I have, hey, I have cabinets. Yeah, I got out of hand those. We'll just hang them babies out. Here, let's take this little baby up here. They're just hanging out there, baby. Watch yourself here. Yeah. Oh. oh, hey, man. <laughs> Come my way, man. My way. My way. Got it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I got it. Yes. Power <laughs> uh, <laughs> through, really. Uh. Slight back spasms. There is no one to run the camera on day 9, but you will see these projects completed in our day 10 video. I think the hole's a little too high. I've got to bring it down a couple feet. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm feeling like them some bitches is gonna go through it. You're good, keep going. Okay, okay. Oh. That's actually nice, dude. You're not blowing through it all. How much, what size are you using? Let me see. Well, I'm, I'm just not sinking them in yet because I don't want to bend the track. If I get them kind of around and level it all out and then gradually go back and kind of sink them little babies in together, you know? Yeah, dude. And it tightened it up. Okay, let's try this one. Nice. I love these windows. Better when you're on this track. Hell yeah, bro. Beautiful work. Bro. Let's go put this in place. Now we're gonna do a face plate on it as well after we mount it so that it will cover all of the edges and have a great single look. We're gonna add metal strapping down the side um, to hold the face plate on to carry most of the weight and distribute it. Get a brand new box of razor blades. Got it. What are you doing? Um, I'm trying to secure this. So if you guys remember, when we brought our plumbing in here, we had that big generator here. Well, plans have changed, and we're actually getting an Onan diesel generator now, which we didn't want to spend the funds on it. Um, but it's too long to wait on Onan to maybe look into a sponsorship. So we found one online. We're driving all the way to Indiana this weekend to get it. And um, it'll sit right in here. That'll give us room for our plumbing back there. We'll be able to access the thing here. Hopefully the exhaust will come out and work out somehow with the hole that I've already drilled. Probably not. Um, but anyway, so we're trying to reroute the plumbing. And if you remember, we use this for plumbing line instead of PVC pipe, which was nice because we can flex it. We don't have to use all these elbows and all these other things. So we're going to fasten that down so it doesn't come unhooked because it was fastened to the um, back of the generator. And then we're going to put our cooking grill on it. Hey, up to the mound. You put our cooking grill that high? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good coffee up there. <laughs> you have to shave that side off, aren't you? This side? Yeah, just this side. Bring it this way. Hell yeah. All righty then. Damn good idea, man. Exactly. But hey, can you throw see, me that little pencil right there? We cut this side out Thank you. so you can see your water level, which I did do a digital sensor too, so we'll be able to press a button up there and it'll tell us what our water level is. But this is a backup plan, which is kind of cool. Just wanted to let everybody know we'll be raffling this box truck off in two months. <laughs> no. The raffles are $10,000 a piece. Little Goldie, I call him. Boy, it sucks having your arm fully extended. Taking that flathead screws. Uh, you can get in there, it stays out. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty neat. Like Fancy. Out this whole like it. Come check it out. Fancy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Use your finger and open it. Where's my drill? That drill right there has got my rounder bit on it. Fire, fire, fire! There you go, buddy. Everything. Well, this is really just to get a table in and out, but we really kind of decided there. You know, we'd slide our table in there and slide it out. Pail to the non non. Get out of there! <laughs> Okay, I should 
be good. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna notch these out real quick. Take that out for the hinge. That way it'll fold down. Take break. Too tight when I screwed it in, so it's tweaked a little bit. Pull them all the way out. All the way out. Keep going. It's all the way out. Man, if it's uh. Slides very nice. Open that back up. It'll open all the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Open the fridge. Okay, you can get in there. Gotta scoot this forward. There you go, right there. Okay. That one open on. Yeah, that's good enough. That'll be fun. Oh, I'm glad it's good enough for you. It's good enough. See if you can close it without closing it. Dude, you can close all of them at the same time. Yeah, right? hell yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the only downfall. We're going to have to put something back behind there so it stays forward. Maybe another one by the one. And uh, they, just, they just slide in there to hold it forward. Yeah. Little blocking pieces kind of added on. Do we there. have it or no? No. So I the last even... piece that we have is the birch for the tabletop. But well, we have three quarter and. That's for this. But that's for that. Yeah. So, like, I'm going to try to piece together enough to, to make, make a drawer. the drawer. Cool. Or I can make another one of these trays and that way similar to that, not as intense. And we just set a tote and in the something. bags are totes. Could do two separate totes in it. And that way they can take their tote down to the house and fill it up and then bring it back that in. That would be nice. Yeah, a tray that'll fit two totes in that'll it. That'll save me wood. Some sand in. Oh, hell yeah, man. Oh. We can just use that, probably seal up a lot better. Hot in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, so you just follow this line up, come over with it, and then you just cut straight up from that. That's what I was thinking. And then the whole yeah. thing's wider and it doesn't just taper. That's fine. Mm -hmm. 11 inches. I think it'll be Actually, dude, I got a rubber mallet out there if you want to use yeah, it. Yeah, I got one okay. for that flooring, too. Yeah. Dude, it's closer. Beat the hell out of <laughs> Cool. We did a lot of cool shit in here, didn't we? Hell yeah, man. Come in my shower. Nah. Just 
guys are perfect artists. You like it, dude? Let me run this screw in. I'll turn around. Yeah, baby! You're the man with your cutting. All right, let me try it out. Uh, actually, uh, it's not. It's actually pretty Dude. solid. Oh yeah, baby. We may not even need a brace in the middle. No. Fucking glasses that land on my back. No, really, <laughs> it's not even bony. Not even I didn't bony. think it would. This stuff's tough. That stuff's ten ply. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Well, you kind of hooked it up. Woo! Like surfing. Yeah, maybe we just go get a metal one. A big thank you to Affordable Luxury Remodeling. We couldn't have done it without them. If you guys are needing any custom furniture, home, or improvement work done, please reach out. All details are in our description below.